Are you ready to start using Myon? It's easy to access Myon using your Clever login. Just click your Clever desktop shortcut or type in this URL. Next, click Login with Active Directory. Teachers, use the same username and password you would use to log into your email. Students, your username is your student ID number with at the dps.org appended on. For example, and your password uses this formula, the first letter of your first name uppercase, the first letter of your last name lowercase, your two-digit birth month, your two-digit birth year, and put a 01 if you are a male, or 02 if you are a female. For example, Jane Doe was born on May 13, 2004, so her password is capital J, lowercase d, followed by 050402. And that's it. Once you're signed in, click the Myon tile and you'll be able to access everything on Myon. Every student that uses Myon gets their own personalized dashboard. Here you can find how much time you spent reading, the last book you opened, projects assigned by your teacher, and even a few recommended books. When you find a book you want to read, just hover over the title and click the green read button. If you want to see even more books, you can check out the Myon library. Just like a real library, the Myon Library helps you find great digital books. It is divided into four sections. First is the recommended books section. Here you will find books that are based on your interests, your grade, and your current reading level. This is a great place to find books that you really want to read. I always like to check out the new books and also use the drop down to find books related to a specific theme. Myon also gives you the option to browse through a selection by category. In the Browse tab, you will be able to visually search through the thousands of books that are available to you in Myon. Just click on any topic to see the books in that section. Finally, if you still can't find the book you want, you can always use the advanced search. For example, if I want to read books about basketball, I just type that word into the search and click the magnifying glass. Boom! All the basketball books will show up. You can search for a particular author, title, or topic. If you get too many books, you may want to start using filters. You can limit your search to just books at your reading level or grade level, for example. Whether you choose a book for yourself or select one from your teacher's list, Myon will track how many pages you read and how much time you spent reading. The more you read, the better a reader you become. When you get to the end of the book, you can see how much time you spent. If you read all the pages and spend enough time reading, you can count the book as complete. Just click the button that says, I have finished this book. This will take you to the ratings and review page. When you finish a book in Myon, you can rate it by clicking on the stars. The more you like a book, the more stars you should give. Myon uses this rating to help find more book recommendations. You can also write a short book review if you want. Tell why you liked or didn't like the book. If your teacher approves your review, it will be shared anonymously to other readers in your school. That's pretty cool. After you save your review, Mayan will take you into a short book quiz. There are five multiple choice questions to see how well you understood the book you just finished reading. When you submit the quiz, you can see how well you did. If you don't like your score, you can reread the book and take a new quiz with different questions. You also have access to Mayan News, which is news written just for you. To get to your Mayan News homepage, look for the news icon and the purple banner. Each weekday, Mayan News publishes five articles on topics such as around the world, U.S. news, animals, sports, discovery, arts, wacky news, and kids in the news. There's also a search feature you can use to search for articles on specific topics or people. Once you find an article you're interested in, just click to start reading. I can turn on the audio and have the article read aloud as I follow along. Protecting animals on the move. Countries come together to take care of shared creatures. I can click on the vocabulary words to get the definition. Migratory. I can make the text bigger or smaller to make it easier for me to read. Even better, each article is available in English, Spanish, and French. That's pretty cool.
There's a ton of other features within each Maya news article, such as a map to show me where in the world the article takes place, a related video, a slideshow, and other information about the author of the article. Once you're done reading an article, you can give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the article or a thumbs down if you didn't care for it. If you really like a story and want to learn even more about the topic, Mayon suggests other books you can read. At the end of each article is a three question quiz to see if you understood what you read. With Mayon, you have lots of choices about what to read and you can read anytime, anywhere. Have fun reading with Mayon.